In this video, we'll look at whether aluminum carbonate, Al2CO33, is ionic or covalent. Short answer is that the entire compound is an ionic compound. But when we look at the carbonate ion here, the bond between the carbon and the oxygens, those bonds are going to be covalent. As we look on the periodic table, here's aluminum, that's a metal, and then carbon and oxygen, they're both nonmetals. So we have a metal and then the two nonmetals. Metal plus nonmetals that'll give us an ionic compound. So because we have an ionic compound, we should look at the charge on each one of the ions. Aluminum right here, this is in group 13, it's sometimes called 3A. It has an ionic charge of three plus. So that three plus, each of these aluminums will have a charge of three plus. The carbonate ion, CO3, this is a good one to remember. The entire carbonate ion, CO3, has an ionic charge of two minus, and that's on the whole thing. We have three carbonate ions. 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. For our two aluminum atoms, 2 times 3 plus, 6 plus. You can see that the charges balance out. We have a net charge of 0. And when we look at this, we have positive ions and negative ions. Those ions are attracted because they're opposite charges. That forms the ionic bond. Let's talk about the carbonate ion here for just a minute. So for the carbonate ion, we said carbon, that's a nonmetal. And then oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. When we have nonmetals bonded to nonmetals, that gives us a covalent bond. This is also called a molecular bond. So here, the carbonate, carbon, oxygen, those bonds are covalent. But overall, because we have the positive aluminum ions and the negative carbonate ions, that is an ionic bond. This is Dr. B discussing whether aluminum carbonate, Al2CO33, is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.